Hello Twin Flames, this is Victoria and I'm here with your daily energy check. Let's do a quick check-in and then tomorrow the reading is going to be dedicated to a new moon in Virgo. It's a pretty powerful new moon. Uh, first of all because it sets us up for the, uh, for the equinox and for the eclipse season. Secondly because Mercury goes direct shortly after and it's going to be in the same degree than the new moon. New moon energy in general lasts for a few days before a few days after the peak of the event which is going to be 9 40 pm eastern standard time tomorrow uh but this time it's going to be even more potent so yeah it's going to be really really important to set yourself up for this new cycle these new goals <clears throat> new manifestations see that's the uh heart uh, the throat chakra speaking you know that's that mercury that wants to break through right so it's important to uh well be more mindful let's put it that way about what do you want to communicate out there and how do you want to speak to phrase your intentions right it's really important how you put them into words so if before you were using manifestation techniques around uh, like meditation affirmations but you were maybe like saying them in your mind it's pretty important now to do it more outwards right so to write them down in your diary uh to speak them out loud to tell somebody you no know, like you can use different ways uh but the important part is to actually uh, get them out there in the physical, get to the outside world. Okay, let's get going. So I'm going to start with an Oracle deck. This is going to be a regular chicken, but we will get an extra question. It's going to be that kind of regular chicken. The main energy check and then uh, what else are we supposed to know from spirit, from the divine. So for feminines, we got, oh, and I'm using the Alice the Wonderland uh, cards card deck today so we've got three cards i'm not gonna spend too much time on this so take the messages how they resonate for you i'm just gonna read them the way i see them as a reader for a general reading it's very interesting how similar the images are and yes they were here kind of together but they're not even numbered it's like it's not close numbers it's 3 17 and 44 you know uh so it's not like i didn't shuffle it's not like they were just consequent uh, sequential numbers sorry. we have followed the white rabbit curiosity meets opportunity that's your cue for the manifestation with new moon and virgo curiosity is key now growing up uh, wanting to grow in experience rejection of perpetual youth you know so this is maturity this is seeing the situation with new eyes this is wanting new things again think what they're gonna manifest manifest for this new cycle and finally you can go back to yesterday be in the present yeah so try not to manifest from a place of past failure or lack like you know um, that didn't work so now i'm gonna go harder higher whatever right like try not to go from uh, negative emotions right not from like what made you upset, what made you angry, what made you jealous. Try to go from what do I want to create, what is loving, what is kind, what is compassionate. Okay, what do we have for the masculines? Let's see. They're all in this gold energy and that's what I noticed right away. It's beautiful. The masculines have got four cards, but I'm gonna take them. I took all of those, so why not? we have nonsense it's time to talk sense <laughs> time to talk sense into your manifestations divine masculine so yeah whatever it's time to acknowledge that certain things that you're bothered about that you know have been on your mind are simply not worth all that energy you're spending on it or how do i put it you know like when you're in that feeling of frustration of uh anger of jealousy of shame it's really hard to like just tell yourself get over it and just do that you know like that doesn't make sense it's you know it's not spiritual it's not wise like you know just get over it it usually doesn't work that way at all so it's easier said than done 
but it's important to see to not just to see but to be ready to work with those kind of emotions with those kind of reactions that's what you can manifest in a new cycle right to uh, re to c respond in a healthier way right to look into those triggers into those wounds closer as much as it's possible painting the roses red covering up the errors yeah so and like i was just saying um like I was just saying to the feminists, the same goes for not trying to manifest something new out of place of what didn't work before, but more out of place of what is my ideal picture of happiness, of beauty, of comfort, of joy, of health, you know, just it. And yes, as the way our brain functions usually compares things, it's just the way it's set up. So it's, it's kind of hard to imagine things that you haven't faced or that you haven't been able to compare your life to. Uh, but yeah, that's, you know, that's where that open-mindedness and curiosity comes in. Law is not justice. Rules that are not fair, yeah. So do not go for what your friends do, what your parents did, what your boss is asking of you, uh, what your spouse is asking of you. You know, it's more like, be discernful of what actually is created out of respect and what is created out of fear you know what is created and and then again you know there are legal um regulations right that we're supposed to follow that's one thing but your life doesn't have to be uh guided just by those right there is a whole world outside of that body of legislation you know and that's where you're supposed to create based on how you feel it you know based on what your heart is telling you and finally changed in the night you have changed quickly <laughs> yes yeah, so i feel like just generally in the energy we have such a potent energy for transformation at the moment just generally for the twins so the mat is just this card for me just signifies the masculines may wake up one day and be like wow how did i change that much you know it's almost like two weeks ago i was happy doing xyz and now i don't see any point in it my friends asking me out again but i know i don't want to go and not you know just to show off i really don't want to go <laughs> um so yeah and then suddenly they start thinking about more mature topics so that maturity and growing up right they feel grown up and they're like wow why well, how did that happen <laughs> i was still enjoying my i don't know bachelor happy life right or uh, my hobbies or whatever being out with friends and going out for adventures and now i'm like thinking i'm just giving an example i'm thinking family kids and uh starting a savings account for my family you know to provide in the future something along those lines it's funny okay anyway let's see what we have with tarot so it's gonna be five cards with one extra question and then i have my hermit tarot to get us the messages so we have energy additional question and response bottom of the deck ace of coins yes opportunity for this new cycle to be something more solid something more concrete not just wishful thinking not just uh hints and subtle messages especially if we're talking about the connection uh right this is like okay so this is what it where we are right now this is what's happening in our lives this is what we can create or how we can be there for each other or how we can spend time together based on where we are right it's very realistic but it's also very tangible. Realistic, a lot of times will mean that maybe it's not as good as we would want it to be, not as big, not as quick, but this is also like, but that's not stopping us from having this something, from moving forward, from doing more, doing better. Okay, let me pull clarifiers and get into the energies. For the clarifiers, I picked it right away today. And we have the star, yes. So this is the big vision, big dream, understanding that this connection, this past is much bigger than 
uh, figuring out a relationship, right? It's like we can create our world even I'm hearing it. I've never heard that for the star card, but there we go. It's hope on a whole different level for what it is we can achieve in this lifetime, for why we are here, for um, our potential and how much of it is still uncovered. It's still covered. <laughs> I meant that it's not uncovered. Okay, so we have for the feminines, we have the lovers and six of pentacles. I love this energy. And not just because the lovers is kind of on the nose, but it's like, the feminines are seeing that love is a lot about equal give and take. And I don't just mean literally who pays for lunch or, you know, pays the bills. I mean energetically more than, and, and yes, money is part of that for sure. But this is on a bigger scale and meaning that it's not like like for like comparison necessarily. But it's still very important, no matter what kind of resources you use, uh, it's important that in a loving relationship that that input is balanced. It's more or less equal contribution from the parties, right? Or if there is a crisis on one of the ends, and usually it doesn't happen simultaneously with two ends, it's like one or another, and the other one can uh, lend a supportive ear or shoulder to cry on or whatever, right? Like be there, be given more temporarily to help the other one out of a crisis. But it shouldn't be a permanent condition that one person only asks for something, another person uh, is always there to help out, to give and to do just because it's love, right? Like, well, not just because, but you know, like as impasse, a lot of times we fall weak to this kind of concept, to having this kind of connection. And this, by the way, will go for everything in the apps lives, but that goes just as a general um, axiomatic message for what we are looking at here because that's part of the big learning process that this connection shows us not just how to be with each other and that's what I was saying with that star card not just about this connection it shows us life it shows us those dynamics that are relevant on so many levels with different people but yes, but the main lesson here, I'm sensing it very strongly, is around the connection with Divine Masculine and where things are. And not, um, this is like this wisdom that comes in as to, I don't want to, you know, put myself out there too much, or like give too much so that it falls into imbalance. And not just because, or not necessarily because it's like I'm going to drain my energy or, uh, you know, it's not fair that I'm doing this, this and that, and they hardly do anything. It's not about that, but uh, as soon as the connection becomes imbalanced and there is no energy exchange between the two parties, um, karma starts getting created, negative karma. And guess what? It, it gets created on the more in the side where it, this kind of connect, this kind of exchange was initiated or supported or encouraged. Meaning that if feminines actually initiate all that giving or they keep responding with all that, right? Like they make this decision that they will likely get the hit, get the ricochet of the karma. And that will be another karmic cycle. And it doesn't have to be with DMs. It can be with someone else, but at the very least, it will be D with DMs. So feminines are getting this new level of clarity of how that plays out and how they should be careful with not just throwing themselves at, and being there, you know, 24-7, 365 for the masculines with whatever they need and uh, creating the opportunities and all that kind of stuff, right? Like, think about it, creating the opportunities to connect, to communicate, to take care of each other. Those are basically masculine energies. And at the very least, you can think about it that way. That if you're approaching it from a, being a feminine, you're approaching it with masculine energy, then your masculine will kind of automatically fall into the feminine energy. And you aren't going to get much from them. So you'll be like, well, now it's your turn to be proactive. Now it's your turn to initiate, to create. But they're in the receptive energy, <laughs> you know? So it's very important to keep that part of the dynamic in mind. 
for uh, masculines, we have four of cups clarified by ten of wands. Yeah, so they have the dream as well. And I like that in this four of cups, in this deck, it's more optimistic. It's more like, yeah, I see the big dream is out there in the sky. They don't feel like it is accessible to them, but they see the dream how it could be. And that's what I get from all that maturity points. It's their life with DF. It's what they want to achieve. Uh, personally, professionally, just what kind of person they want to be, you know, and they're like, wow, it's almost like they see, maybe some of them saw a dream where they could see how their burdens, uh, you know, just disappear or they transmute them and they go into this, you know, big and beautiful life. So right now there is some disappointment that it's not accessible, that we can't just go and live that life. But it's an important image, it's an important notion for masculines to be able to uh, have that motivation to do better, to ask for more, uh, to keep searching, to be curious, you know, not to get stuck. And that's what we saw. We saw with the Oracle cards. Okay, additional question. We have the Wheel of Fortune with four of wands, beautiful energy, right? So what do we want to know? What can we know additionally from each of the sides? <sighs> I'm getting that the question here is how are we seeing that it's divine timing in these connections? That it's divine timing to step closer, to uh, get closer to union, to be to have more intimacy or more connection in the physical with each other what are the signs right what is the how can we know uh feminines you have nine of wands and king of wands <sighs> so this is the final wand you know that makes it the 10 makes it end of a cycle right so i'm getting for feminines the sign is when your masculines is in this energy this mature energy when they are not looking back at like I need to have plan B or this, I've tried this before, it never worked. Like when they get free of that nonsense and they can one with trust in themselves, in your connection, in you, um, understanding that there will always be things that you cannot predict, you cannot plan for. And it's scary objectively, you know, but it's not the reason not to go out for it you know not to take that risk um they will still want to move forward at the end of the day right fear will be put aside and they will want to move on so whatever you feel like would be a challenging situation or it seems like that for you or you know that they mentioned before that they don't want to you don't even want to go down that road but now you see that they are open to it even if they haven't figured it out, they are open to try to compromise, to um, find the solution, right? That's, that's the sign. That's the sign that it's time for that next level of closeness and intimacy and where you can trust that it's safe to go that way. For masculines, Ace of Cups with Four of Coins. <sighs> Yeah, so for masculines, I'm getting that the sign is when they don't want to hold back on the love, on the unconditional love. When they're not afraid that mm, their DF is going to take advantage of them. Where then, because obviously that has happened before, more than once. When they're not afraid that if they are vulnerable and they share something very personal, that this will kill the love because... The feminine will see them in an inferior way uh, or in a weak way, right? When those fears are gone and at the end of the day, even or even as you acknowledge that they're still there, you still want to give your cup of love to the feminine, that's the sign, right? To step into it, that energy, to walk bravely into the next phase, creating that, creating more intimacy, right? So... This is like deeper knowledge on the heart's chakra that um, your person will understand you. They will uh, be there for you. They will nurture you. No matter what you share, how you share, no matter how much you share, especially if we're talking about something material, right? This is like 
not wanting to share too much too soon a lot of times right and it can be the information like the secrets the experience or it can be finances right uh because well yeah you know because of the fears because of insecurities and this is the if, if that is doesn't bother you anymore or your desire to give this cup of love is larger than that fear that's the sign okay messages from wasn't a short reading after all uh messages from divine masculines divine feminines yeah we like that okay we have i just dream and wish for everything and one wants so everything in bed with you divine feminines everything that any fantasy that they had or they didn't even know they had you know it's like getting to the next level we're talking tantra um we're talking uh all kinds of energy practices um different i don't know approaches techniques putting a bigger meaning into it and uh wanting to try something that they've never tried before and we're not gonna go too much into that but take it how it resonates for you if you know and we say wait right so they understand that uh they have all this desire but it's it it's not to just run with it to just jump into it and that's partly because well i mean they've been down this road when they felt a lot of sexual attraction and they just went for it and it didn't end very well a lot of times because people were not on the same page and they didn't want the same things but here it's i'm getting it's more the reason why they want to wait um is more because they don't want the feminine to think that that's what they're after you know that's the main thing they're not they don't care about anything else you know, so they want to give it time. They want this to unfold naturally in its beautiful form. They want to be friends. They want to be partners. Uh, they want to have that emotional intimacy first and then go into the physical, not the other way around. It reminds me immediately, you know, about the teenage love when a lot of times, especially when it comes to guys, they, or boys rather, you know, um, it's really hard for them to share feelings and emotions to talk about the relationship you know they would much rather start with a kiss or maybe even sex and then maybe talk about it after maybe not usually if the girl doesn't ask too many questions they don't right that's how much they like freak out about it how much how uncomfortable they are about it right and this is the mature way that's that maturity energy we saw with the masculines where and yeah and of course there are people who go on with the same approach well into adulthood uh but with this one no matter what they did before with this one they definitely want to do this right and um uh, feel like this is supposed to be on that more mature level than what they used to do the way they used to approach their romantic relationships okay feminines to masculines now we had two sevens here, by the way, and I think I have a seven from Divine Feminine. Okay, okay. We have, I dream about you a lot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Reach out. And if I ask you to stay, would you leave? Yeah, so the feminines would love, ideally, for you to reach out, Divine Masculine. They are feeling a little lonely a little like there is that wishful thinking reality and there is a current reality and they are feeling the emotion around the difference between the two <sighs> but they also understand how important it is for both twins to be emotionally ready for this so they kind of they feel a certain uh hesitance i'm getting yeah, hesitance in the decision making here. So, and this is what they're actually saying. If I ask you to stay, would you leave? So they understand, they can sense the, uh, that masculines hesitate for some reason. And it could be, of course, because they have uh, reservations about the connection and how it's gonna play out. But also for a lot of them, it's because they have reservations about themselves. 
because with all this maturity and new insights comes the realization of how uh, much they still have to accomplish or the big shoes they have to fill if you wish you know so there is that and that's what creates that nine of wands energy of like oh i'm not ready yet not yet not yet not yet which we can sense a lot of times in the connection right so this is what the feminine if is sensing now and is asking like if i ask you to stay would you leave they're not sure at this moment and please use your or your own guidance and discernment in terms of whether you are supposed to reach out or not because clearly feminines want the masculines to reach out um depends on your goals and how much of it you want to share usually the rule of thumb is if you don't have any specific expectations of an outcome um do it you know if you have something to share you want to put something out there it's truthful it's loving do it for sure uh, and maybe that's the that's the mirror <laughs> that you're working through right now. Don't wait for them to reach out necessarily. Why? Because they made a mistake? Because they are masculine? Maybe if you're feeling like there is something that needs to be discussed, said, put out there, uh, maybe you're feeling it because you're the one that's supposed to do it. At least at this point. Okay, I hope this has been good for you guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. I love you all and I'll be back with more readings very, very soon. Tomorrow is a big one, so make sure you tune in.